Hi guys and ladies, one of my viewers asked me to make more fish taco recipes. <laughs> and seeing that I love them too, I think I will. So I went to the supermarket and I picked up all the ingredients. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, except one. <laughs> you can guess what it is, the fish. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Let's start out for bass. Those little guys under 12 inches that the biologists say we ought to remove. They're underweight and they're stunted. There are just too many mouths to feed. So let's use this. It's called a TRD. See the notes below for all the info on my tackle, the lake, the fish, the recipes, everything. Let's get fishing. It's small, but it's a fish that we need to remove. All right, 10 and 3 quarters inches. <laughs> Another little guy. Oh, he fell off in the boat for the first time that's ever happened. Yeah. <sighs> 10 and 1 quarter. Good enough. Nice, right, a fish. Yay, that <laughs> little guy. But that's a good eater. Ten and a half inches, good enough. A yellow perch! <laughs> a good one! I wish I could just fish for these because they're the best tasting fish in the world, but the lake doesn't have that many of them. This is wonderful. Just shy of 12 inches. This will make great fillets. I've got a cormorant here, and I think he's getting set to fly. There he goes. Yes. A little skagits, as I say. Ten and a half inches again. <laughs> yes! Yes! I was kind of hoping for one. This is a bluegill, and it's a big one and he took my bass lure. It's legal. Yes. Ah, perfect eating fish. It's getting dark. It gets dark early now. I needed this. 10 and 3 quarters. Another perfect little guy. Ten and a fourth inches. Looky here, we caught eight little fish today. Nothing big though, but that gives us over a pound of fish fillets, more than enough for our fish tacos. So let's get back in the house and fillet these guys.
Here it is the next day, and I'm a bit embarrassed. I couldn't catch a big bass, but looky here. Just the bass alone gave us over a pound of nice little fillets for our easy taco recipe. I can't wait to do up our tacos, but first let's make a little side dish. How about low carb refried beans? I've got 12 ounces of center cut bacon here and I'm supposed to uh, cook the bacon until just done, not crispy, and then leave in the skillet and set it aside. We'll see. While our bacon is sizzling away, I wanted to show you I've got two cans of black beans. <laughs> Not ordinary black beans. These are soy black beans. They have only one net carb per serving. You have to pulverize this really, really well. More so than regular black beans. You want it really smooth. I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil, two tablespoons or so of heavy whipping cream. Here's two heaping teaspoons of minced garlic from the jar. It's the only way I operate. Here's a tablespoon of fine quality chili powder. Just a half teaspoon of salt. All I'm going to do is pour our bean mixture into our bacon grease. I'm going to mix this up and stir it and see what happens. I don't know. I put our heat back onto medium low and all I'm doing is mixing and stirring. It's good, but I think it could use a little more seasoning. Mexican. I have Mexican seasoning. Let's add a little of this. I think it needs a little more salt too because the black beans in the can don't come with salt. I think I've got the seasoning perfect and look, it firms up just like real refried beans. I've got to try some. Mmm. Oh, this is wonderful. That Mexican seasoning really, really helped. You would never know these aren't authentic Mexican uh, refried black beans. They're so good. Please try this. It's so easy. It's on to the fish. I'm going to put about two tablespoons. I'm just going to cover the bottom of this skillet with olive oil. I'm going to make up a little spice blend. First, a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a half teaspoon of ground coriander. That's it. Because our fish is so thin, I'm just going to season up one side. And I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. I got this heat on medium high, and I'm going to add our fillets. All I'm going to do is cook them the usual way. Two minutes on side one, and about one and a half on side two. It's been two minutes. Let's flip. I'm just going to remove these babies to a medium bowl and I'll let them cool and I'll break them up, flake them up. I drained a little of the grease away and now I'm just flaking it up. Look how easy this is. Low carb tortillas, flour tortillas, low carb. Our fish of course, pico de gallo from the supermarket. Look how easy this is. Yes, you could make your own, but this gives us more time to go fishing. Same with the guacamole. I can make my own, but look, it's right here in a container. More time to fish. Finally, sour cream. I'm just going to warm up our tortilla. Our tortilla is all warmed up. Let's lay down a little sour cream. Then we'll put a heaping tablespoon of our fish. How about then some guacamole? Maybe two. Two teaspoons. And then a tablespoon or so of pico de gallo, and then a little shredded cabbage, finely shredded cabbage, maybe top some, maybe top it off again with a little more guacamole. Look at this, our taco. I bought this taco holder. I don't know if it's the best. Watch what happens. It doesn't fit. Here's my old taco holder. Look how wide it is. It fits so nicely. 
I'm going to keep these guys warm in the oven for a little while. The table is set. I'm all ready. But any second, my special guest will arrive. The famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. You, you already know that despite decades of seeing each other, she doesn't seem interested in marriage. We have these married friends. You know, the husband isn't the sharpest tool in the shed. But they seem so happy enjoying life's little things. If only that could be Miss Lulu and I. Well, here we are once again with the beautiful celebrity uh, restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, dreadful downtrodden double wide. And uh, you had a chance to uh, enjoy, I hope, my refried beans. What did you think of those? They were very good. You couldn't really tell at all that they weren't Authentic. regular black beans yeah right. they're very good and of course i had fake mexican rice with cauliflower and i didn't show that but i'll put the recipe down below in the notes very tasty and then what about those fish the tacos? tacos were very good they had nice nice things on them like lettuce and sour cream and guacamole yeah and, uh, and uh, i loaded pico them de gallo yes very good miss g yes oh may i call you lulu yes oh thank you uh, don't you think uh, you'd like the everyday little pleasures of, of marriage? Like our friends Mike and Yolanda. Now, don't you enjoy the simple things in life? I love the simple things in life, but I don't want one of them as a husband. Oh. <clears throat> uh, can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs>